Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, whether it's your first time or you're a long time subscriber. I have some cards that I need to get sent out and I wanted to show them to you before they're gone. What I'm working with here is a six by six paper pad for the most part and a few things that I had sitting around on my desk. So I'll show you the cards that I put together and give you some pointers about how I did them. First, let's start with this one. It's a birthday card. This is gold embossing and I've layered it up and I had some circle punches and this is a piece of embroidery floss. And if you're great at tying bows and you wanna mess with that, fine. But otherwise, just take the embroidery floss, loop it up a bunch, tie a knot, it's cute as can be. I went away this weekend and I took the six by six paper pad, my new Cricut cutter, and the Hermafix. Okay, so here's the pad. It's Echo Park, for the record too, by Lori Whitlock. I think I really like her stuff. I notice I've been buying a lot of it. I'm not sure about the color schemes and the for the record too. You'll see that I have another one over here in blues and greens. It's called the same thing and it doesn't differentiate, but I'll make something with that soon. Here's just a basic, uh, it's a card base and then a black layer and then a strip of a pattern, a strip of a pattern and something up the middle. I think the thing to remember is that the layers help give it a nice look. And what I did was, since I wasn't at home and I didn't have embellishments, and you know, you're just sitting around at a friend's house in the morning drinking coffee. And so I made them like this. I had the black paper with me and the printed pad. So I did have black. And I prepped them like this and then brought them home knowing that I would take it from there. So that's how these started out. This one, I wrapped embroidery floss around the thing before I stuck it down. I did have a little bit of embroidery floss with me. When I got home, I cut out the thanks, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but I did use my Wink of Stella pen on the black for the thanks, so it uh, glistens a little bit. And this card was mounted on bright white. That's why I used bright white here. It's a little strange since there isn't white in the pattern. I'm not gonna let you read the card. I put some black and white washi tape in there. So I think that one's really fun. I'll show you, those of you who aren't familiar with dyes, I'll show you this in a minute, how we got the thanks. Here's another one similar to it. There's a couple of papers in this pad that have printed papers that target people who sew or quilt. So I took that to the next level and used buttons and thread on those. And I'll set these aside for someone else. One of my friends has been super supportive and watched me make a million cards and quilts. So she'd like to have some of these. This one, same idea was, you can see the template is like this. And then I had these wood embellishments that I picked up at Tuesday morning and had showed you before in a prior video. The colors on them are different. The whole package isn't the same, but they do go, the ones in red and orange go with this, so I liked it. It says good stuff, and it gives it some dimension, and then I put the thread under it, and it's loose, but it won't fall. This is the same paper here, so up close, you, can, you can't see it probably in the video, but it talks about buttons and sewing, and I have buttons and thread around it. Put that one aside for her too. And again, this one shows the, that fabric really well, and I used it to cut the thanks. And I have Wink of Stella on this thanks, which I'm not sure if it shows, but it looks nice in person. And then just some little texture dots that I had left over from a kit from somewhere along the way. I used my circle punch and just cut it in half. I was just trying to bring more emphasis to the thanks, and I didn't want it to be straight so that when I give the cards, they aren't all the same. This one is a completely different paper pack. I just wanted to show you this to you. A couple of videos ago, I was doing scrap cards, and this was the one that I showed you that was the strip that held the whole pad together. So I took them, laid them down, and then this embellishment pack had one that was blue and green and says, think happy. So I put it on there. Again, just using up scraps and using things up off my desk. And here's another oh, things I've been thinking about getting around to. 
I can't remember if I showed you in a video, but I bought this package of vellum quotes for $1.49 at a thrift store. I don't think it had been used at all. There were many of them. And I took one of these cards, just like this, loosened this up a little, because I used Hermafix, and tucked it under the edge and tore the edge. And it says, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. And it's a Ralph Waldo Emerson quote. And if you watch my videos, you know that I like a lot of his and Thoreau. I just thought that was fun. I didn't even put any embellishments on it. I just liked it the way it was. So I might use some more of these vellum quotes on here. I also have embroidery floss in red and yellow and kind of this taupey brown color that goes with it. I just threw some things in that were in the same color family. Let me show you, for those of you who aren't familiar with die cutting, I don't have a die cutting machine, but a die cutting machine is a great example of, if you have one, great. If your friend has one, borrow it when she goes on vacation. So what we have here is a big Sizzix machine, and you'll see down here I have a whole bunch of these. This one, I cut the white and the black and glued them together. Same idea here and foam mount behind it. This one, I'm not sure how well you can tell in the video. This one is layered up. So it's three layers of the black glued onto the background. So this one's just one and that one's three. That's a fun way to make your cards different and add dimension. It's not very expensive, of course, but it takes you a while to get it done. So what you do is you have the pads go on the machine and it has, I'm using the machine, the name machine loosely. This one's a hand crank and it shows you how to lay everything down. And then you've seen in the stores, there are dies and they're usually next to the stamps. These are spellbinders, I think, so they have this beautiful bronze color. Typically, they're silver. They're not quite as fancy, usually. And what I thought was, on one of these cards, I'd show you just sort of what my next step would be. But I moved everything while I was showing you. Here we go. So you can see how that would look. Then I have one that's just two layers, one white and one black, hello, and it's in the opposite. So do we want white words or black words? Okay, so you can see that I've already cut some. I'm gonna tape these down. And because I don't have a directional paper, I'm just mixing it up with my polka dots so my patterns don't go all the same way. Then you put the top on like this. And you slide it into this large machine right here. And I think this machine is nice because you can do very large pieces of paper. Here I'm just using a piece from a 6x6 six six pad, but you can just take your whole 8.5 by 11 sheet, pop it in there, and you don't have to trim anything down. Typically the electric ones are smaller. This is the manual concept of say a silhouette which you've heard me talk about before or a Cricut machine. This In this situation you buy the dies instead of the online file. When you're doing the background layer, let me show you just so you can see it, it just pops out super easy, right? When you're doing the other one with the actual words, there's a tool that typically they sell. I don't know where it is. I have a needle right here and I'm just loosening up one end and just popping it right out. There we go. So you can see how that turned out. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and just show you a couple pointers about how I glue them together. And like I've said before, you don't need as many adhesives as I have. It's just fun to have. 
<laughs> There's no rule that says you have to have a million. Okay, let's do the hello because I like the shape with these flowers. I think it's fun. In this one, I glued this together wrong. Do you see it? And I'm using the term wrong a little bit loosely. I was, I got sidetracked and I let the glue stick for a second before I lined them up. So they're off kilter a little. It's super cute. I'll still use it on a card. So that's an idea of, you can mix it up. You can do your layers like this. I think I did a video uh, months ago using the silhouette where I had uh, black and purple letters mixed together or layers. So all of your layers don't have to be the same color either. You could kind of do a rainbow thing or you could do a white and an orange and a green and stagger them a little bit. Here I have a hello that's two layers already that I glued together and I'm going to show you just how I do this one. There's a couple of different options that I have handy and it depends on what you have. I could use my art glitter glue. It works just fine and this bottle is getting low so it works even better. So I would just take it and go along here. Oops. Let's see. Pop it all along. I'm going to show you. This is the quickie glue pen. There are markers that do glue. There are a lot of different glues like this. It comes out light blue and then it dries clear. The light blue is nice because you can see it if you're using it on white. This works really well and because I there's not a lot of weight here, it, it really is nice to layer things up. It also allows me to get into the little tiny places quick and easily so that the you know, the tiny part of the E or the swoop between the two letters isn't loose and floppy or like the skinny part on the H right here. Then I just turn it over and what works best for me, it's harder on something like this, is I try and get them lined up a little bit when they're upright so that they stand the same height. And then I lay them down real quick and I have a pair of good old-fashioned tweezers and I just kind of grab the sides lay them down it works fine unless you get sidetracked talking or checking on a dog that's that's what happened to the other one okay there I got some glue on the top doesn't matter it'll dry clear and here you can see a little bit of art glitter glue came out the side again it won't matter and that's the advantage to using the pen but I just kind of take my tweezers clean it up if some comes out and then it'll dry just fine. There we go. So you don't wanna watch me repeat that over and over, but you get the idea. Then, since I have both glues handy, I have a tendency to use the art glitter glue. Once I take these three layers and glue it onto the front of my card, because I, I don't have a lot of experience with the quickie glue pen, and I think it's a lot to ask of it to hold it on three layers, and then if I'm gonna mail it or it's gonna sit around for a while and I'm gonna shuffle it. I don't know. It probably works fine. I do come in a little bit on the thin edges because it's easier than the art glitter glue, but I think the art glitter glue gives it a little bit of strength. So once I do this final layer, I do combine them typically. And you could, I have some where I didn't get it right in the center and those are cute too. So if you want it more to the top or to the right, or you just don't want them all the same, maybe some ribbon or some floss or thread, some embellishments. I hope these were inspirational for you and you've learned a little bit about different ideas and um, that you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and having a great time. I am trying to figure out which projects I'm gonna work on next. I have some mini albums to do. I have some 12 by 12 pages and some cards. If you wanna leave me a comment about which projects you're more interested in seeing, I'd love to hear because then I'll know what you wanna see. I'm gonna do them all either way, but it's quicker if I don't make a video. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching and please be sure and click the subscribe button if you haven't. Thanks, bye-bye.